Hi guys, I'll keep this intro short and simple because I'm already running late, but basically my plans were to get up at 8 a.m. At first they were to get up at 7, but I was too lazy and I was like, you know what? Last night I put on like these sock curls in my hair last night. Keep in mind, I've done these in my hair like multiple times. They've always worked. Last night for some reason my hair didn't dry completely and they came out horrible when I took them off. Like I swore I was going to look so good and like little by little I realized that they were not going to work out so I had to actually curl my whole head of hair which I was not planning for it and it's what I'm doing right now but aside from that Natalie is coming to pick me up because we're gonna go get something done I'm going for moral support I already did my makeup as best as I could also today is like one of the days I'm, I woke up a little bit earlier dude we've been going to sleep so late and waking up so late I felt like for a second we had like beat that vicious cycle where we like would wake up late because we would go to sleep late but we started getting addicted to playing video games at night and we're back at waking up super late. So today, me waking up at 8 a.m., it was like something super big for me. I didn't even think I was going to be able to. We're literally not going to have time to even like put an outfit on or anything. Anyways, I'm going to try to finish doing my hair really fast. And then we're going to go with Natalie. Okay, we're getting Starbies. I made it with Nat. Put me in these uncomfortable situations. Bitch, what? I ordered. Huh? What do you mean? I mobile ordered, so we only came for you to order. And your domestic, get whatever you got, but I already got it. Well, get whatever you had got it. Okay. No, I mobile ordered it because it was a complicated ass order. Oh my. That's why you mobile ordered it. Anyways, Natalie's actually not running that late. I was running hella late. I, you don't know this yet, but bro, I didn't think I was going to make it on time. Yo, we just made it to the place. Natalie's shitting bricks. And I am excited for her to see how it goes and stuff, but I don't know if I'd be down to do the lips. Although, another part of me is like, I would be down to do lipo, which is so much worse, so I don't know. But we're gonna go in, and I'm gonna go in her in there with her, I think. She said that they were gonna let me. I feel like I can record her, but imagine next time it's me getting the, the lip injections. I always do that shit. I always change my mind, but let's go. Natalie's almost ready to rock and roll. Are you stealing my content right now? Charging. <laughs> oh, these are juicy. <laughs> they do look juicy. They are so cute. My mouth is crooked though. Is that because I have no <laughs> meat? Okay. I swear <laughs> my <laughs> Alright, we're out. Where's my camera? Which I gave it to you. Did you put it in your bag? Oh yeah, I did. Dumb. I think the filler fucks with your head. I think it's so fucking funny, huh? Natalie, you need to do that Pringle right now. Your lips look really ugly. <laughs> okay, not ugly. They look really um crooked. All right, Natalie is done, and this definitely has inspired me to get my lips done now because they look pretty good. They're getting like so, super swollen right now, but we're just talking like this. But she looked she looked really good when she was first getting them. I didn't record much, but most of the footage is on her channel. So watch her video. I might come back. No cap. Y'all, I have to hop in the trunk for because Natalie's gonna prank Jacob now. Fuck. You gotta blast that AC though because it's fucking warm as fuck over here. Try to make it quick. It's my does, first time being in a trunk. It's still a little bit hot. Okay, it's gonna get colder now. My AC's blasted. I really hope no car crashes into the back of your car. Cause R.I.P. You'll be fine. You think? I just hope we don't get rear-ended. That's what I'm saying. If you get rear-ended, we R.I.P. edit. Don't get paid enough for this shit. Drive safe, bro. I'm like tossing and turning back here. <laughs> I'm about to take off my pants. <laughs> no, I'm hot. Car view things. I mean, back of the car view things. Jake well, is here. He's parking next to Nat. Asking to the Sorry. Nat, put the AC up. You're gonna kill me. Burn, bitch. <laughs> you can come. You can pop out. This is trunk oh, stuff. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Dude. Uh, look at this. Hey, let's go to a fast we'll get a discount. <laughs> so what? Are you gonna be single? Bro, how long does it last? I'm gonna be single for a year. <laughs> Hit me up. DMs are open. Yeah, be crying. Same. Hi guys, so it's a little bit later and I am back home. I took a nap because no cap, I was having a really, really bad headache when I was coming back home. We decided that we're gonna go watch the Minions movie, hence why I changed it to comfy clothes, I have these shorts, and this like big t-shirt that I usually work out in to go watch the Minions. Also, my Gymshark order came in. I ordered my first pair of, or not pair, kind of, I guess you could say Gymshark clothing. So let me just show you guys really quickly too because we're about to leave to the movie. We're a little bit late, but I got these 
short. These are some biker shorts. Those are kind of short. And then I got these ones that are a little bit longer. And these ones are kind of like a floral ish kind of print like i said they're a little bit longer than the first ones then i got this gymshark sports bra i've never had like a sports bra like that to work out actually i did have one like from victoria's secret but it always seemed me like kind of small so i never really used it and then the last thing i got was this long sleeve top that i can wear um that i'm probably not gonna wear right now because i don't totally feel confident not wearing these long t-shirts to the gym but I bought it as a motivation to at some point I'm gonna use it so yep I got this and then I'm gonna wear these for like under my long t-shirts for that my boobies don't like move around as much but yeah that's pretty much my like little quick Gymshark haul we're gonna go watch the Minions movie and also while I was like waiting for time to come I had like a really really big inspiration to buy a couch for my room because I feel like it's just needs that so the next version of the video might be that or it might be something else we will see I was just having like a really spontaneous moment. So yeah, I'm gonna go watch Minions and we will see what happens next with my spontaneous life. We have made it to the movies. Okay. Let's watch the movies. <laughs> Hi guys, it is the next day. Is it the next day? No, it is two days later. I got my lashes done yesterday. I actually was gonna film that yesterday, but my camera was out of storage and I ended up doing that I was gonna make a whole room makeover because I've been thinking that I want to buy a, a couch for my room kind of separate it into like living room slash bedroom situation since we do live in a studio you guys know how I put the egg chair in my room now and that kind of gives it a living room vibe but I wanted to buy a couch whatever I was thinking of doing that yesterday and I ended up not doing it because all the couches I wanted were gonna take like months or weeks to get here and I was like dude by the time I get the couch knowing my undecisive ass I'm gonna want another couch so I ended up not doing that so today is Friday my lashes look super cute yesterday we went to the waterfall hiking and because I was like sweaty and stuff I I came back home and I forgot I went into the shower you're not supposed to wash your lashes like 24 to 48 hours after you get them done and my dumbass went into the shower I even had a shower cap on but I was like oh my gosh the water feels so fresh started dumping water into my face bruh who does that but I ended up texting Chantel that I had like dried them as soon as I remembered actually I didn't remember Ricardo was like you're washing your lashes I was like oh, no so he got me my little fan I dried them as much as I could in that moment and she said I should probably be good hopefully because I love this set that she did on me like they're just super wispy and they're not too long but also not too short they're like perfect which by the way if you want to get your lashes done San Bernardino area go get them done with Chantal she like literally does the best lashes so today it is Friday and tomorrow we're going to a party Stacy's husband's party and I don't have an outfit for tomorrow so we're gonna go shopping and you know have a good Friday night. Also, if you guys want to know what my lippy is, it's this Crystal Cosmetics lipstick. I really, I'm not sure what the name is. Rogelio, the bottom. Look how beautiful it is. She also has one and then another one that's on the other side that's like a little bit lighter, but love, love, love. I have a discount code with her. I think it's Edith. Discount code Edith. Today's outfit, I, oh my gosh. Today's outfit is this white shirt with these like so cute pants that have like little um flowers and faces on them p.s i wore these yesterday they're so comfortable though i didn't even wear them the whole day yesterday just to get my lashes done and then i took them off because we went to hiking and all that stuff so we're reusing them today i also posted them on my story yesterday so if somebody sees me out today they're gonna be like weren't you wearing those yesterday well girl i was but i only wore them like for three hours or something so whatever anyways we're gonna go shopping for clothes for tomorrow's party and have a good Friday night. I also wanted to mention this to you guys just because I feel like it's important to talk about. I ended up getting this air purifier like a week or two ago from Costco. It was like $130, get your air purifier. But as you guys can see right here, it has a red light on. Usually it'll be blue or yellow. Right now it's red because I just sprayed perfume all over me. I've been hearing so many bad things about like anything that has to do with perfume or fragrance and it being so bad for you. So every single time I put perfume on, I'm reminded by the air purifier like that my air quality is technically like horrible because there's so many bad things in there which make me want to like literally get rid of everything that has fragrance in it but let's be honest dude like everything has fragrance in it my wallflowers have fragrance in it so that my home smells good all my perfumes like literally everything i use on my body has like a fragrance on it things i used to clean with fabuloso you know everything has a fragrance in it and like just thinking about how bad it is for you it's like dude 
we literally consume i guess you could say consume this on an everyday basis so so much and the more i think about it the more i go crazy about it but it's like i want to smell good how do i find balance you know i want to smell good but i don't want it to affect me also it's super bad for your pets you know bailey is inside with us all the time oh you know it's like should i be the stinky one or toxic free in my home such a hard decision if you guys have any good recommendations please please let me know in the comments down below because i really need somebody's help but yeah if you guys have seen I think it was the one when I went quinceanera dress shopping with Nelly I showed you guys how we moved the room around if you haven't seen it go see it I went quinceanera dress shopping with Nelly I bought her dress and all that stuff but technically our room is moved around completely different we have the egg chair here and our bed over there it's not made or anything you know like our room is pretty messy right now so what I was thinking you know was a buying kind of like a small L couch for right there and oh <gasps> hey! oh my gosh I actually I ordered this from what is it? isn't this from Home Depot Oh, it is. This is something that, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Midway through recording, Ricardo brings this. This is for our patio, because I want to do like a little DIY project. It's basically that, you guys can hardly see it, but it's um some artificial like greenery panels. There's 12 of them in there, so hopefully it'll like be enough oh, to cover so. um like that area right there of our wall. Okay. Better look. Oh, they look so beautiful, baby. How do you think we could put them up, though? This is the OOTD I have on. Oh, you guys already saw it. Okay, I'm trying all of these things on. I have to. Yes. Hey! <laughs> okay, so I have this top, these bottoms, and that shirt. Okay, let's try everything on. I'll show you guys if I like anything. If I don't, I'm not going to show you guys. The pants I was trying to wear for the party didn't fit, and then this shirt right here, didn't fit at all like my wide shoulders it didn't even close at all the pants one of them i really like the other one was like so that means we have to keep shopping because i still don't have a birthday outfit i just okay, left so forever 21 the lighting's really good right here but we got a whole bunch of stuff we paid 260 dollars for card and i nice. together but i did get the outfit for tomorrow's birthday party i love it it's like a cargo pant with a, like a top and i'm gonna be wearing jays it's gonna be kind of like a i don't know what it's called like a skater vibe skater is that vibe, skater yeah. vibe i think it's like, like skater vibe i liked it i feel like the cargo pants also fit really good i don't think you guys saw them but you guys will have to wait for the we're vlog. We're gonna match. We are gonna match. We're probably not gonna match. Now we're gonna go to boiling crab or not boiling crab, kick, kick and crab to get some kick shrimpies. And wings. And Ricardo's gonna get wings because he doesn't like like the seafood boil anymore. I am happy because we found a lot of things we wanted and because we're gonna eat food. Let's go. We just made it to kicking <laughs> crab. Pa comer? Ready to go? Nala, you ready to eat? Baby. I'm just here so I won't get fine. Um, part of the we have the shrimp. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. 